But if these things are not the desire of your heart, then I urge you now to pray and seek the Lord for His mercy until Jesus is precious to you, until you are excited about Jesus, until you do see your whole purpose in living to be wrapped up in Him, until you are willing to read His Word, to see what it is He has to say and actually live according to that Word. This is what it means to be born again. This is what it means to be a believer. Now don't forget John's closing words to his disciples in verse 36. He who believes in the Son has eternal life. But he who does not obey the Son will not see life. But the wrath of God abides on him. You know, this almost doesn't sound right, does it? It almost sounds like you expect John to say, he who believes in the Son has eternal life. He who does not believe will not see life. But that's not what he says. He says, he who believes in the Son has eternal life, but he who does not obey the Son will not see life. Because believing in Jesus Christ is more than just believing that the facts are true. It's trusting Him to save you, but it's also being willing to listen to Him, being willing to give up your life to follow Him. Jesus says you have to pick up your crosses. You have to die to yourself, die to what you want out of this life, if it happens to be contrary to what He wants, and you begin to do what He wants you to do. Jesus says you have to lay your life down in order that you may pick it up again.